The race for robotics is on. Google amping up its game. Buying ro robot giant Boston Dynamics. This marks the tech titan's eighth robotics company acquisition in just the past six months. And this news comes on the heels of Amazon announcing its future plan for drone deliveries. But is this all really the rise of the machines or just a marketing ploy? Here now is tech guru Ari Zoldan and joining us on the phone, marketing maven Bruce Turkel. Ari, let me start with you. I, I mean, these robots are phenomenal. They're very cool. What in the world would Google use them for? So for one thing, mapping is huge, right? Google has the mapping overlay. So you need a cheetah to go do mapping, so, basically? Well, I, I mean, you could be at, you know, the robots could be out in the Amazon and start scouting and start mapping. There's disaster Stop recovery. It. I'm that serious. That is the silliest there, thing I've there ever is, heard. Is, how about there's disaster recovery under rubble? So now these robots could go the inside. The running under, I don't think The cheetah, can. the wildcat, the bot. I have one at home. Do you have one at home? I have one in the backyard somewhere you locked away, though. You have one of these, though. really? Little bobcat, yeah. That's fabulous. <laughs> Bruce Turkel, we were having some problems with your video here, which is why you're on the phone and I wouldn't excuse you from this segment because you were the genius last time around with the Amazon drone who said this is just a marketing ploy. What do you think about this one, Bruce? Is this a marketing ploy as well? This is not a marketing ploy. This is for real. Google is the only company that has the wherewithal, the means, the motivation, and now the companies that they've acquired to actually be the leaders in robotics. Nobody else is going to understand real-world we, real world robotics like Google, they're going to have it from the programming to the function, to the design, to the IP. They will have one management structure. This is the future. This is, this is for real. In fact, I think the Google robots are going to shoot down the Amazon drones. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what, what would they actually use them for? I mean, what, what's the function? Within the next 20 years, robots are going to take over almost every manual task that's being done right now. Mapping is just something that Google is involved in because of their mantra to make all information available. But at some point, robotics are going to take over. And again, Google has all of the requirements to make this happen. And a guy like Andy Rutan, he's been into robotics for 10 or 12 years. He, he knows this space. But here's the most important part from the marketing point of view, because, you know, that's what I care about. Yeah. Robots are the forefront of our imagination. Robots are the coolest thing out there. And Google really benefits by being hip, cool, trendy, having the latest thing happening. Robots are it. Yeah. Are you agree with all that? For the most part, yeah. I mean, robots are not new. They've been around for 20, 30 years, but we've only At seen least, them. Yeah. Right. We've only seen them in the industrial space. Now we're starting to move into the consumer space, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I do want to mention, Bruce, also, outside of obviously, it, it, is, a great, it is a great marketing and a great PR play, but what we're starting to see robots also absorb and view content and that's what google wants to provide to their end user too so if you can get these robots well, into hard I, to why do i need a running cheetah to go and absorb content like i'm just are they just showing off the functionality of what they can possibly do or is there an actual real practical function for these robots that look so much like animals? It's certainly there's a functionality standpoint. And again, from a humanitarian standpoint, from disaster recovery, finding people under earthquakes, I mean, these robots have a very, very distinct function. I think it's important to add that saying that, ro that Google is about search is like saying Amazon sells books. I think search is the entree. But now, here you have tools that can do so many other things, all controlled, with data that that uh, that Google rather will be will have at their disposal, I think you're going to see amazing things come out of this. So, Bruce, you say you know if you're a company, for example, that you need a robot to do a specific task for you, whatever it may be, to help you finish your line of business, you think Google would be the one that would eventually develop and sell you that and manage that equipment for you? I absolutely do. Who would have thought that a couple of years ago that they would have been number two in the phone business? Who would have yeah. thought Amazon so, Bruce, I, Bruce, I, ha I happen to disagree. I happen to disagree a, a little bit. What I see happening is that Google being on the back end, and then Google go ahead and licensing this technology to different industries well, sure. as well. Sure, but I think they still manage it. I mean, it's interesting. It's like the way that we saw IBM move into services when the mainframe and the and the box computer on top of your desk same, became a commodity. It's the same concept, and, and it's all software. At the end of the day, like what Bruce said, Andy Rubin, who built the Android system, is now controlling yeah. the robotics. So it's a total convergence of one package. Amazing. Convergence uh, is the key word. I love that. There okay. you go. Thank you. Guys, thanks to both of you. Bruce, thanks for hanging in there on the phone. We needed you. We love you. <laughs> thanks so much.